Let's see how to sprint a DTF or sublimation or a photo roll on Epson ET8550 or 8180. In India it is 8180 and other regions it is uh, <coughs> 8550. So let's begin. Today we'll be using uh, Zigroll uh, Genuine version, version 4 to print uh, roll on this printer. We can use it for printing sublimation directly with the help of Zigroll and any other tool. If you want to use it for DTF, you have to have an AcroDip software in between. So let's quickly start. I'm double tapping here. Make sure that this tray is empty. Okay. You don't have to take it out. If you want to take it out, you can take it out. If you are using DTF, you anyways, you don't need this tray. So make sure that this is empty. Close it. <coughs> By closing it a4 plain paper so make sure that whenever you insert the paper the default paper has to be a4 so even if this tray is empty we will be feeding a4 paper from the back tray so I'm hitting and close now what we will do this is a roll you can use a pet film or a sublimation or paper roll now we will be taking this part out we'll be feeding an A4 paper here now. Okay. This is our A4 paper. I'm placing it here like this. Okay, adjust the guides. Now here, make sure that it has to be a plain paper and it has to be A4. So once it is set, you can change it and you can set it up. Once it is set, go to the Grohl software. There is a separate video how to uh, install the software and all. So I'll be hitting on load paper. So as soon as I hit on load paper, the printer will pull the paper inside and it will stay there. This printer is a fantastic option over 18050 or 8050 because of the CR motor. There are other versions uh, similar to Zigroll available which offers uh, forward reverse but I will not recommend you to do use reverse functionality on these printers with the help of software unless and until you modify it somehow because it will damage your CR printer's CR motor. Now you can open the cover and check. The paper is now inside. The head is stable. The paper is inside. Alright. Now we will be feeding a roll of pet film or a paper, whatever you want to print. Okay, let's close this down. We are done with this. So this feature is to bypass the paper sensing mechanism. Now the printer knows that we have a paper inside. We don't have a pet film. So what we will do, we will be inserting a pet film, film on the top of this paper. Push it down. All right. Pet film is little wider. Now I will select 5 or 10 here and I'll hit on eject to cut. So as soon as I uh, click on eject to cut, you can open it and check. I will just click it and you can see feed to cut. I'm clicking on feed to cut. So the pet film is now inside the printer right now i am not having white here but if you want to use it on pet film for dtf printing you just have to have acro rip so that you will be use you'll be able to use white on this so there is a other, other video on the channel you can subscribe uh, i keep updating such kind of uh, videos so that's it you can start printing you can do forward like eject to cut if i hit it two say for example one print is done you can just place and I am going to click on feed to cut and you can see it here okay I have clicked thrice fourth time fifth time so this is how you can insert the film inside so that's it uh, this is how you can use now uh, already there are so many people actually the reason behind making this video was uh, so many people were stuck uh, in the first step itself that when I click on load roll the 
it the printer asks a paper from this tray so because you have a paper inside and you have not selected uh, the by uh, the back tray as a default tray it is happening so that's the reason actually i've made this video thank you once again prabodh this side from creative a genuine license of uh, this software you can buy it on dtgdtf.com and i'll be there to guide you guys so you can contact me on whatsapp too thank you thank you once again prabodh this side from creative a brand a name you can trust thank you